What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is the cool Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on the channel. Today, we're jumping into some zombie stuff. We haven't done zombies in quite some time, but nonetheless, it is quite a big piece of information here to swallow. This dealing directly with perhaps DLC 3 dragons as well as Stalingrad here where we're going to be going in DLC 3. So with that being said, the giant theory here on this one as it has been for a long time, is that Nikolai will be the main focus here of the DLC 3 Easter egg, and the map will be dealing around that. So the first one was Tank Dempsey in Germany here, as well as DLC 2 was focused around Takeo, as well as the Pacific Island regions of Pompeii. So DLC 3, the idea was that Stalingrad would be the location and Nikolai would be the focus here. But we have had that theory, but nothing really to majorly back it up, except say some future hints here in various pieces of the map. But today we have a cipher that directly deals with DLC 2 and is something that actually is quite interesting in how it turns out. This one being around the zip line here, the ritual station right there, there is a cipher to the direct left of the pillar holding the skull for the ritual. This one solved by certain Personio as well as DC Revolution Gaming. And this one says Division 9 Project D update to group 935. The specimens have been manufactured to be asexual. We felt it's best to remove the primal urges of the sexes as this will make them far easier to control. That being said, they are still extremely dangerous. You must have the mechanical control collars and proper frequencies set and applied when the specimens reach the juvenile stage. After seeing what they are capable of, your stalemate on the Eastern Front with the Russians will soon come to an end. So with that being said, I think it's very interesting to note here that this is a very plausible thing. We might actually end up fighting alongside dragons and we might actually see them maybe even as a boss. But regardless, there are hints towards dragons as well as the project is called Project D. So there is a massive hint here. There's more even in Zetsubo no Shima. We'll get to those in a second, but it is very interesting to note because the dragon is a theme that has been seen for quite some time here now with Der Eisendracke here in DLC 1. There actually was a very interesting quote by Richtofen in which he says to the statues, this is the last of the dragon we'll see for now. So that coming from the guy with the most information on this grand scheme, this grand plan, really I think it's interesting to note that this will be coming back here and perhaps even leading into further DLC. So one other thing to mention here and to note is that the secret room in which you have to get the final cog or one of the three cogs depending on what order you do them in, that cog is located in a room that can only be accessed by the gobble gum anywhere but here where it teleports you to that secret room and in that room, well, there is a bunch of different hints towards dragons, a giant dragon egg controls things just like that, that may in fact be the same things hinted at in this cipher. So it's very interesting to see here, but I think it's very cool to note that this is now DLC three hints, even though we're still so far off, it is nice to see that one of the final ciphers left in Zetsubono Shima has been decrypted and deciphered. So with that being said, Stalingrad and Dragons. I'd love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. But that's going to wrap it up here today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, be sure to like for rating down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're on that road to 40,000 subscribers now. So thank you guys so much for that. I'll see you guys later. My name is Nicola Espresso. Take care and peace.